This could be a total disaster. Okay, ignition number one. Ignition number two. The key. This button right here is gonna do it, or it's not. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look how dumb I look. How naive I was to think I would just take a mini V8 engine and just on the back of a gaming PC and then power it with it. Why? Why? Because I want my gaming PC to have a gas pedal. I want to tell my buddies I can't game with them because I lost my keys. I want to be clutching a 1v5 and then run out of gas. You know why. You know why. Well, you, know, you know why, right? This was attempt number one of like 50. I don't upload. I'm not going to cry this time. I'm not going to cry this time. Sponsored by Micro Center. When I was 16, I had saved up about $3,000 of dishwasher money. And I wanted to go fast. <laughs> I watched a little Need for Speed. I know how to drift, obviously. So with my $3,000, I had to make the decision of what vehicle to purchase. Now, being that I wanted to go real fast, I thought I'll buy this crappy little BMW and then I'll just slap a turbo on there with my next paycheck. The problem is, I was really dumb. I don't know if that ever changed. And in combination with that, I didn't know anything about installing a supercharger or turbocharger. I didn't even know who to ask. It's like six grand, sometimes even more. The other kids with their $3,000 of dishwasher money bought an American V8. You might make the comparison. The crappy V8 vehicle is gonna be faster than the crappy import vehicle. We pull up to a red light. We do a, we do a little, you know. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You wanna race? What's up, bro? And then we floor it. I just, I always lost. It tormented me. So I take 10,000 hamsters and their hamster wheel has a little motor on it. And as they spin it, the hamsters power a gaming PC. 10,000 you said, you didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm actually doing is the gas powered gaming. This is Electro Boom, also known as Electricity Genius Man. I'm going. Ouch! You just take him. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Where in your computer are you feeding it? So you are taking the power supply of your computer yes. out and providing your own voltages? I reached out to him to help understand how I might power a gaming PC with gas. Gaming PC that's powered by a V8 engine. No way. Uh huh. It but actually he... runs on gasoline? Yeah. Without plugging it into the wall, feed it some gas, get the gas engine up and running, and then it spins the alternator and then goes into the 12 volt power supply, powers the gaming PC. See, does it sound even like possible to you or uh, yes the thing <laughs> is that uh, it, 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 there is no regulation right first maybe buy your motor and generator right you said lots yeah. of scary yeah. things especially with lithium batteries because okay. they'll blow up in your face uh, you said blow up twice now and now <laughs> i'm concerned <laughs> <laughs> Full bridge rectifier. but after the discussion i was confident that i kind of knew what to do i don't know exactly how much current is your pc drawing like maximum it's a lot my laptop close to 20 20 volts and 5 amps or something so it's like say 100 watts maximum yeah, i'm gonna need a lot more than 100 watts i gotta go fast luckily once again this is sponsored by micro center so i'm gonna tell you about them later i will say real quick though they are finally opening new stores so <laughs> new locations so i'm just gonna see if i can like like a like a just a giant vat of urine power a gaming pc with it yeah, yeah. The PC build must encompass everything I've wanted in a vehicle. This is like the most poggers. The most poggers. The most poggers. First up is an ASRock Steel Legend motherboard. I, I'd look you dead in the eye. I'd say about your car, I'd come up to you and I'd say, how many horsepowers does it have? And inside of it, an AMD 7800X3D most poggers. Dead straight face. How many horsepowers? A Lee and Lee 360 millimeter radiator that we're installing on the front of the vehicle uh, gaming computer. How many? How many? horsepowers do you have? How many horsepowers? Some G Skill 6000 megahertz DDR5. Drop the clutch. Samsung 990 Pro. Everything, of course, being the fastest. Oh, that's the one that I'm getting. Look at it. Look at the name though. Zoom in real close. Super yeah. racer. Ooh. Micro Center has a maker section with all kinds of stuff and it really came in handy. <laughs> Arduino Mega. When are you gonna trim that ear, ear hair? and the AMD 7900 XTX, which just looks like it belongs in a fast vehicle. And then as I got older, I realized that, well, you can install nitrous into your car. 
and a fractal north case because the front of it, honestly, looks like the grill of a car. Very classy car. I bought a bottle of nitrous only for track use and it was sitting there staring at me. I sat it on the counter for weeks. I just looked at it. That's pretty nice. Thumbnail. I just gotta plug it in. But how? This is a motor like you might find in your ceiling fan. If you input electricity, it spins. And as bro science might have it, if you spin it, it outputs electricity. Right. Oh, you're right. Of course you're right. No, that makes so much sense now that you say <laughs> And each bump drops. With Electroboom's help, this is what I came up with. You know, rectified uh, uh, variations of voltage, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. For the power supply of my computer. Big beefy three-phase generator. Connect to this. That connects onto there. And it turns it into DC. Which connects to this, which takes the DC and levels out the power that it's getting. Boom. Which then connects to two of these little baby batteries. The only problem with what Electroboom told me is that it would have worked too good. I thought it would be too easy. I thought it would be too easy, right? Too easy, too easy. You're gonna get all arrogant and you're gonna make it hard now so it take four months to upload a video. I didn't want there to be any reserve power between the gas and the PC. I wanted direct gas to PC energy because that's cooler. I'm gonna cry. So instead I have this. Two golf cart motors connected to the regulator, <laughs> which then goes straight into the back of a special power supply. The guy on the phone told me these are for autonomous vehicles. I told him I don't talk that way in my household. Hey, oh, dad joke. That can accept 24 volts instead of wall plug power. You know the problem is that when I'm sitting there after building like the most poggers gamer PC, I'm sitting there and I'm benchmarking it, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> So if the voltage drops, it needs to rev up. And if the voltage is too yeah. high, it needs to rev down. No, that's way cooler because then the whole time you're gaming, it's sitting there, vroom, 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 you know what I mean? Like <laughs> so if this is what plugs into the PC, then in theory, I should just use lots of horsepowers to spin yeah. this really fast, in theory. You don't wanna know. So I'm gonna slap all this onto a gaming PC and then install a V8 engine. <laughs> Imagine submitting that to Micro Center's build showcase to receive a free coupon. <laughs> No, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Now, I've never spent this much time genuinely engineering something. You see, each of these motors are rated to output 350 watts at 2700 RPM. And so I used a pulley system where I counted the number of teeth and did actual math to determine the RPM and teeth that the engine would have to have to output enough electricity. And courtesy of GPT-4, this is called an aluminum extrusion set. You just buy these aluminum poles and there's a bunch of specific specifically made screws and stuff to mount stuff to it. I was telling Olivia, I was like, this is insane. Like, how did I not know this existed? I can build stuff with this. I don't need like a CNC machine and like a whole laboratory of equipment. So I built an engine mount for the back of my gaming PC and made the generator motor things like adjustable so you can adjust the tension with the pulley. I asked 2000 questions to GPT-4 and my dad and I did a ton of wiring. And I mean, the engine's just gonna run first try without any trouble, so I was almost done. Not even any impending doom waiting for me. <laughs> and I think really all of this is creating the illusion that I know what I'm doing and I want to be clear that I don't. I wired it all very specifically so that it has two switches for maximum coolness, which engages the ignition system for the engine, which is basically little sparks that are being made from this battery to ignite the gasoline and create the rotating effect. I used to swallow toothpaste as a kid. They said it would make me stupid. And it wasn't the kid's stuff either, no. It was the adult toothpaste, like the back of the tube said, go to the hospital if you swallow this. <laughs> and I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Now, I've never been more proud of something that I've built. Unless my child counts. <laughs> so I've got to thank Micro Center for being extremely patient as I took way too long to build this. Oh my goodness, I would make so much more money if I didn't take three months to upload a video. So I'm going to try to trigger like 50 Karens at once, have them all yell at it, and see if that powers the PC. Okay. Real. 
Now, if you're building a PC that you don't want to take three months, first, you can get $25 off all CPUs if you're a new customer. And if you're totally clueless, a giga SD card, about building a PC and want a custom PC, I 1,000% guarantee if you walk into a micro center, you'll be taken care of, and they will help you without making you feel stupid. I'm messing with you. <laughs> we're actually, we're gonna slap a V8 on the back of it. It gets better though, because their first new store in eight years is opening in Indianapolis this summer. It's actually open right now. That's how long this edit took. <laughs> you might actually see me there once or twice. And there's more coming, boys. Keep your eyes open. Click my links in the description. Do it. It's worth it. Oh my goodness. I've never been this nervous for anything I've ever done on the channel. This could be a total disaster. Okay, ignition number one. Ignition number two. My keys. I don't have my keys. I can't believe it. This is actually not a joke. I gotta look at my keys. The key in. I'm gonna turn this button right here, it's gonna do it, or it's not. No, no way. I was really excited, but clearly something was wrong. That's insane. That sounds sick! Anguish and pain are the only words that can describe what I felt over the course of the next two weeks. Is it not getting gas? What is this? All right, JQ90 says by quarter of a turn each time, both of them. Probably need more fuel. You see, I just thought I would buy a mini V8 engine from China. That way it would just work and I wouldn't have to learn. <laughs> But after a few days of making adjustments and asking questions, there was hope. Oh! Oh! That was insane! Did you see the light come on? It was, it was powering it. It powered the motherboard. And that was a gas-powered RGB LED. The motherboard light comes on. Okay. Okay. At the very least, I want it to actually boot the BIOS of the computer. I want it to power on. So this doesn't count, but it does mean that all of the wiring and generators are actually working. Something's burning. And the main problem? I just needed more horsepower. This is about the moment where I learned that as the computer uses more wattage, it loads the, the little motors down. So you're gonna need more horsepower to turn them. And I was right there with almost enough horsepower to boot this PC. This the closest I've been. It might just be the timing. And to make enough wattage to power these components, it's gonna need 2.7 horsepower. I couldn't get the engine to run smoothly enough to produce the four horsepower that it's supposed to produce. Not and I had one final hope. You're saying if I just hook up some glow plugs, it'll just straight up run on nitro? Yep. That's it? If you would have contacted me beforehand, I would have saved you a lot of trouble. This whole time, I could have just asked Warp Perception. He overnight shipped me everything I needed off a cold email. <laughs> the guy who like put rockets on a car for Mr. Beast. And then, and then finally. After literally moving during this whole video, I had a gas-powered gaming PC.
I don't care. I don't care. I didn't get to play a game. I don't care that I had to swap GPUs. It booted. It freaking booted. That was a computer powering, booting up with a freaking gas V8 engine slapped on the back and nothing else. So yeah, I could have installed a battery, or used a laptop, or throttled the components. I could have made it the Mustang. But something felt just right, leaving it, needing just a little more horsepower. They make a supercharger for this thing? <laughs> I'm not doing it, there's no part two. Don't. I'm never doing this again. And if you're wondering how I come up with these ideas, it's actually this one. This was Olivia's idea. <laughs> oh, thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. I literally could not make videos like this if it weren't for Micro Center sponsoring this. So please, I, I beg of you, just like click the links in the description check them out. I promise you they don't disappoint. They've got some grand openings coming up at new locations and the deals are actually insane. I just visited one of the locations. Go to the store. You might see me. You might see me at the store. Thanks for watching.